it is time once again to get down and dirty with the outlaws here at Williams Grove Speedway. They work to turn number four. Race fans, it is showtime at Williams Grove. Up and running, and we are racing. So here we go. Gusta with the lead. Look at Clanton. Storms right by the 19R. He's going to bring the 111V along with him. Here comes the 81E. Gusta gets hung out to dry on the outside on lap number one. Blair will look to the inside of Clanton. They'll work out of turn number four. Lap number one will go to the 2015 champion. Blair to second. Gusta now to third. Fourth is the 81E of Tanner English. Fifth is Herb. Eckert 6'6". Six, six. Now Rick Eckert will work on the 28. He'll go by. Dennis Herb Jr. got high and wide, and it cost him a spot as Rick Eckert went by. All the while, Mason Ziegler working the outside of the 15K of Hollage for sixth. Ziegler will look to the inside of Hollage. Hollage will hold him off at the line. Ziegler back to the outside. Mason Ziegler storming around the 15K. Ziggy looking like the Mason Ziegler of old. He'll pick up the number six spot. Shane Clanton now dealing with Tyler Horse, trying to put him a lap down. Clanton methodically picking his way through the slower cars. Horse not giving him any quarter, so Clanton will look to the inside of Horse. He's got to be careful. Horse sees him and lets him by. And Blair that time a little sideways off the cushion, as was the 19R. But Gustin staying right with him. And caution is on the speedway. Everybody's going to sneak right up behind him and try not to let him get out of their sights, including Ryan Gus, who's right there with him. Green flag in the air. Blair holds off Gustin going into turn number one. Now Gustin will have a door open by Blair, but Gustin not able to take advantage. To the outside is Tanner English. To the inside is Herb. Ziegler is right by the battle between Herb and Eckert. Rick Eckert will take fourth for the moment away from Tanner English. We'll see if English can answer back. The answer is no. Rick Eckert to fourth, and he wants more. He's going to go after Gustin. Scrub starting to feel it here. English going to go right back after Eckert, but not going to be able to do it. He'll come up a few car lengths short as Eckert will work on the 19R of Gustin. Rick Ecker with a nose underneath the 19R. Good line for Eckert out of four. Still can't quite make the pass. Is Richards underneath Herb? Josh Richards side by side with Herb. Herb will hold the spot for now. That is the battle for eighth. Herb and Richards will drag race down the back stretch. Herb will hold the advantage. And Clanton got over the cushion that time, and that allowed Max Blair to make up some ground. Shane Clanton has got company, and it's Max Blair. Blair won in his home state already this year at the Bloomsburg Raceway. Like to get another one here at Williams Grove. Clanton has got company, and it's going to be Gustin coming along for the ride, too, because now Gustin's in the picture. And trouble on Mason Ziegler. Ziegler off the pace down the front stretch. Caution is out. Caution is out with 10 to go. Good restart again for Clanton as Hannah pointed out. Now Gustin's going to look to the inside of Blair for second. Just nothing down on the bottom for Ryan Gustin. He's tried it a couple times. It's just not there. Tanner English has got company with Rick Eckert. They scramble down the back stretch and head into turn number three. Eckert to the outside of the 81E. Gustin working the high side with Blair. Shane Clanton pulling away early again on the restart. Lead already up to 1.014 seconds for Clanton. Clanton has got Blair in hot pursuit along with Gustin English and the zero of Eckert. Clanton will bring it out of turn number four. The white flag is in the air. This is the Barrett's one to go for Shane Clanton. He'll work his way through turns one and two for the final time. Down the back stretch he'll go. Into turn number three. He'll bring it out of four one final time. The checkered flag will wave for the 48th time in his career and second time this year. The Georgia Bulldog is off the leash. Tonight it's at Williams Grove.
And the hat is on the neck band going around, and he's about ready to climb out. Race fans picking up his 48th career win from Zebulon, Georgia, the Georgia Bulldog, Shane Clanton. Had a big curb up here in three and four, and I messed up a couple times and jumped it and thought I was going to be in the fence. But uh, hats off to my guys. They worked their tails off the past couple weeks, and we got a fast hot rod right now. It seemed like initially it was short run speed at the tail end of long runs. You know, Gustin and Blair would maybe kind of get there. That caution comes out with 10 to go. Was there any concern or were you that confident? No, I had concern the whole time. I know we had a lot of tire, tire wear in the, in the heat races. So I was trying to be conservative, not spin the tires, but also drive hard too. And uh, we made it to the end. Now you got a good car here, obviously at Williams Grove. We head to Sharon tomorrow, a place that you're re relatively comfortable with as well. What momentum does this set for you guys? Oh, it sets a lot. Uh, the past month we've been running good. So, uh, just keep momentum rolling and hopefully we can knock off a couple more of these wins. Congratulations. Thanks. Shane Clanton gets it done here at Williams Grove Speedway. Win number two with the World of Outlaw Case Construction and Equipment Late Models. For live coverage of every World of Outlaws event and for extended on-demand race content, visit DirtVision.com. For full race results, features, and series news, visit WorldOfOutlaws.com.